Hey guys, my name is Kenneth Benjamin and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about um, adding event tracking to your Facebook ads. This is such that you can be able to you know, use the data Facebook has gotten from your website. Let's say you run an e-commerce site like this one. So this is an e-commerce site for one of my clients and I just finished setting up the um, Facebook pixel, the Facebook page and also synchronizing the products to the Facebook um, catalog. So you can see the steps there. The page has been added. It's love your body brand. So if you are a lady, you can check out this product. It's really a good one. Go to loveyourbody.ng then you'd see the product variations, the sizes and the different colors you can choose from there. Okay, so now we've completed our ad setup and Facebook Pixel has been added successfully to this website. So what I want to show you guys is how you can set up different event tracking. Let's say for instance, you can set it up in such that if someone clicks on add to cart, then Facebook is going to capture that information and the person's Facebook ID and if they go on to click checkout like if they go to the checkout process or they initiate the checkout then Facebook is going to capture that detail so you can reuse those information to run another ad let's say someone for instance added your product to cart but they didn't go through the checkout to the final um, step which is the purchase so you can run another ad targeting those people who added to cart but did not purchase. You can say, hey, you left something in the cart. Do you want to go check it out? You can put in the picture of the product and target your ad to only those people. So if you run the ad next time, only those who clicked on that ad to cart is going to see that ad. So that way you convert more because they've seen the product before. They have an interest. That's why they clicked on ad to cart in the first place. So possibly they must have been distracted or something else came up and they, or they might not have cash at that time. So it's always good to retarget your customers. You can even go as far as, let's say, someone viewing your ad. You know, once they just view your ad, you can retarget them again and you know, try to sell to them over and over again. They might add to cart checkout, but the last part, which is the confirmation, which is the placing of the order, they might abandon it at that point so you can always get all of those information so back to our page you can see here these tiny icons all around you see the shop icon you see the eye icon this is the facebook event setup tool so i just went through the setting up of the facebook page the business account manager i created a new ad account specifically for this particular business because I'm going to be running ads, you know, frequently, so I had to dedicate a whole ad account to this. I created a new ad account, linked up the Facebook page to the ad account, and now I'm in the Facebook Pixel event setup part. So I thought I should do um, this video for those of you who would be having some questions on how to set up Facebook Pixel and how to set up events, event tracking. So this is basically how you do it. You, once you initiate the event setup to, it will take you through a rundown of your website. So you can use the um, this point here. So you can track buttons and assign events to them. For instance, this one that has the eye icon here with the check mark. If I click on this, over here it says view content. So I set this up in such that if someone clicks on this, it tracks it as view content that means they've seen my shop page okay so i'll click on to the shop page so you can see so this is the shop page they viewed the content so these are all the products and their sizes okay so you'd see different events these are suggested events um, they are suggested events by Facebook, so you have to affirm that okay, this is what you want this button to 
be tracked as for instance this one here it's obvious it says add to cart so if i click on this icon close to it it says it says add to cart so that's the event i set up i set it up as so i can change it to something else but add to cart is the best um, it matches the button same thing with the buy now so if someone clicks on buy now instead of add to cart it still adds the product to cart so it's still the same event i used so if i go on now to um okay let me get to the cart part so i'll click on here to reveal the cart so on each page i am on the website this event setup tool is going to you know follow me around you can see so many icons you know coming up there are suggested icons so i'm going to only pick the one i want it to track so i can't track everything i can't track this one i can't track all of these menus okay if i can track them if i want to i can track them as view content you know viewing the product the description and all other menu use and care delivery all those stuff so i actually want this to be a sales focused ad so over here it says under register i track this as lead so if someone clicks on here to register so it tracks them as lead so that means they registered on the site so i can run an ad to show to only people who registered on this website i believe you get the picture okay so the next part was the checkout so if i click here the checkout button i tracked it as initiate checkout so obviously once they click on this checkout button it's going to initiate the checkout process where they'll have to enter their name their phone number their email their shipping address their billing address i can also choose to track value okay i can say okay if this product is it's just one product so i can track the actual value so i can select the total or i can go to the subtotal or the, the shipping zone so it's best to select the total that is totaling the shipping and the subtotal so you can track you see i just clicked on the total amount so it tracked for this value so if someone initiated a checkout of this value i can decide to you know come up with another pro product ad you know i can set up another product ad of let's say 2000 naira and give them a discount for you know adding the product worth 3999 naira to the cart and going through the checkout process so i can give them an offer say okay for your interest and you know, for, for opting in to buy this much here is a coupon code i can even send out a coupon code via the ad for them to use in their next shopping or something okay so i'm not going to track I'm not going to choose a value for this. I've already selected this and added the icon there. So I'm going to confirm that. So okay. So the next part is the the final part, which is the most important part, the purchase. So I just clicked on the checkout. So this is me initiating a checkout. So I'm just trying to model a customer you know going to the website and going to the uh, buying process so if i scroll all the way down confirm order this is the almighty button so once someone comes all the way to this part and clicks on confirm order the order will be created a client to get the um, notification via email that someone just placed an order you know, go check it out so you can now um fulfill the order go through the shipping and all of that using the information the person entered so i'm going to track this confirm order as purchase so i'm going to click on this icon and the suggested event already gives me purchase here so remember i can always change this to anything i want to but of course that's purchase so again i'm going to say do not include value for now unless you try to run an ad for a giveaway or um, a promo code or a coupon code so i'm going to click on confirm so i've just set up 
You see here it says setup complete. The purchase event is live and is being tracked on your website. So we have now basically we are tracking basically now add to cart button. We are tracking the lead, tracking the view content event. We are tracking the initiate checkout. We are tracking tracking purchase. Okay, so we can say all right. Um, since we now have leads as events, we can create new ads targeting the leads. We can also create another ad targeting people who added to cart. We can create another ad targeting those who viewed content that has viewed the, um, the shop page. And create separate ads for those who initiated checkout and so on and so forth. Okay, so um, I'm going to be running a a detailed training sometime in the future and I'm going to let you all know when that training is going to come up so we are going to go through from beginning to end how to run Facebook ads, how to set up business manager how to do all of these things on your own and at the same time um, for you to get that information for you to get notified you need to subscribe to my channel so that you will be updated once I you know put up the information about the next training you would be the first to know okay so hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification and that way you would be able to be in the know so that being said if you need a website design let's say you're trying to sell stuff online you are into mini importation or you have stuff you need to sell let's say for your shop or you're trying to render services it's not only for selling products you can also track events on your company website or business website if you offer services you can also do the same thing okay so i do website designs i do digital marketing facebook ads um all the online marketing stuff so hit me up my website address is kennethben.com you can go there check out some of my portfolios you can contact me from there and until then i'll see you on the next one bye